Dear high school me, my name is your name. I'm the older you, and I'm here to tell you that I survived the jungle that is high school. Yes, I'm happy to inform you that there is a great big world out there beyond the hormones, clicks, pimples, popularity contests, and that all too familiar cutthroat search for coolness. While it may seem overwhelming right now, I really don't want you to take this time for granted. As the decisions that you make today, big or small, shape the person that you're going to become in the future. You see, the jungle that you are currently engulfed in has a wide range of personality species crawling about, each one taking a different and unique approach to high school. On one hand, there are those who will trample and chomp on anyone and everyone just to get to the top of the food chain. And on the other hand, there are those who try to fit in and blend with their surroundings. Be careful, that personality type is contagious. Then there are those who stand out as distinct and unique leaders, who wear their colors on their sleeves, so to speak. This rare species is known as the peacock. High school me, I want you to embrace your inner peacock. Bet you didn't see that one coming. Now, although your reaction right now might be to completely tune me out and seriously consider getting some therapy so that you don't become like your post-high school self, I urge you to just give me a moment and let me explain. What I mean to say is that what I want for you more than anything is to be brave, be bold, be willing to be different, and most of all, be you. As the saying goes, what is popular is not always what is right, and what is right is not always what is popular. In a place where everyone is trying to rush forward to those nights that they won't remember, spend your time making memories that you'll never forget. You won't regret the times that you stood out, but you will regret those times that you shied away from your full potential. So wear that outrageous, blue-haired, hippie Halloween costume to school that you and your mom put together, even if nobody else does and get involved in every single club, activity, program that you feel passionate about, and run for student council, even if you don't think you're going to be elected. That one actually turns out kind of cool. And then, at the school dance, when you get the choice to do the Macarena or sit it out and be cool, always do the Macarena. Make your mark. You may be young, but you're powerful. In fact, you have the power to change someone's life right now, and you probably don't even know it. Invite Beth, sitting alone at lunch, to come sit with you. Offer to show that new student around at school. Send a candy gram to John, because as you know, he hasn't received one the past couple of years. The possibilities to make someone else's high school journey even a little bit better are endless. A kind word, a helping hand, that's all it takes. And yes, you may need to go against the grain. And yes, sometimes you may feel like the only bird in the jungle with a thousand colors on your feathers. But standing up for what is good and what is right brings about its own comfort. The comfort that you have the courage to stand up for what you believe in. And when you stand up for something or someone, even when it's not popular, you unknowingly give permission to those around you to do the same. It's a wonderful ripple effect that echoes and makes an impact in more ways than you, at this moment, can even imagine. So start the ripple, one good deed at a time, and I promise it will make a world of difference. Sincerely, me. Thank you.